the lurker at the threshold, the gate and the key. Yogg-Sothoth is an omnipotent, interdimensional entity that exists within the Lovecraft Cthulhu mythos. In my previous video I described Azathoth as one of the oldest ancient ones and one of the most powerful. This Elder God matches that level, not of power, but wisdom. A seeing mass of eyes, tentacles and glowing orbs, Yogg-Sothoth exists outside our reality, that can see all. No secret remains hidden and is often summoned in occult rituals across the globe. Welcome back to my Against the God series, where I play Fantasy Flight's Lovecraft themed board game, Aldrich Horror. I took on Azathoth previously, but now we move on to the next ancient one on my list, Yogg-Sothoth. Welcome back to my Against the God series. This time we're going to be fighting Yogg-Sothoth. The next one in the ancient uh, one order um, starts on 14 on the Doom track. I've kept it as random as I could, so characters randomly chosen. I've got Jacqueline, Psychic, and Akashi the Shaman. Starting health, we've got a spell and a clue. We've got a spell and a clue. Mythos cards are all shuffled randomly, I haven't stacked them in any way. Reserve cards too. Yeah, look at them. Starting off. Got everything ready. We spawned a clue in Arkham. A gate opened in London. The monster from the gate was Tunguster. Sorry, the monster was called out of space, but because of the spawn effect, it spawned in Tunguster. And we're going to start by revealing the top of the mystery cards. So we have stone circles. Across the globe, the Elsa Hoss worshippers gather in ancient places of power, each marked by a circle of massive stones placed by unknown forces thousands of years ago. As far as this play, place number of algae tokens equal to half players each on a random space. So, how many random spaces? We take the random clue and we'll see. We have space three. Okay, so we get an algae token, two players, so it us into space three, which is just behind. Oh, it's not. It's right down here, space three. And then, as an encounter, Let's hit a space, may attempt to split the ritual. The past season, we spend two clues and a space. So, for our first mystery, we're going to need to travel to space three, do an encounter, and place clues. Is it two clues to solve the first mystery? So, that is the first objective we're going to do. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to have Jacqueline be a lead investigator for the remainder of the game to keep it simple. And she is going to start, so I'm going to need two clues. I've surely got one, so my first goal will be to go to Arkham and try and obtain that clue. So we're going to use one of our action points to move to Arkham. And our second action point, we're going to try to use influence to try and obtain possibly one of the items down here. There's influence of two, so I roll two dice, aim for a five or a six. We got one, so that's enough to get either the whiskey or the cat burglar. Hmm. Saving sanity might be helpful. I'm going, for the, I'm going to go for the defense here. I'm going to get the whiskey to help save sanity. So I'll put that next to our character up there. Replace the reserve with a ball whip. And that's our turnover for her. Now for the shaman. Now, there's no clues nearby here. But she can work towards getting closer to the token. So we're going to have her travel along. Next space along. We're going to do the same. She's got the same influence of two, so we're going to try that again. And we're going to get any successes, so the influence test for assets failed. And now for the encounter phase. Slime of Jacqueline is an Arkham. So we want to get that clue. So we get the research encounter. For Yogg-Sothoth, we're on a city space. So, during a seance, a voice from beyond tries to take control of your body. It's going to do a will test, but with minus one. Now, our will is three, so minus one is two. We passed. Good start. Uh, if you pass, you question the voice information about other words, gain this clue. So, off to a good start already. We've already gained the clue. Fantastic. So if you can just get her down to uh, space three, we would uh, hopefully do the first mystery. Now it's time for the shaman. She's only uh, 
city space, so we get a generic encounter. I'm oh, sorry, sea space. So we have you discover a signal fire on a small island, but don't find any people. You search the beach for signs of life. Observation test. Her observation is two. So yet again, we roll two dice, and we failed. Uh, so if you fail, the mystery remains unsolved in a paranoia condition. Okay, that's bad. So all well, exactly had a good start. We're already getting a paranoia condition. Just try to find them. Here we've got the paranoia condition, which is up there. That could be a problem, but we're okay for now. So now onto the mythos phase, the final phase. Ooh, okay, now the blue cell obviously means it's a slightly beneficial card. Once at the lodge, your host invites you to fall upstairs. Several members stare in astonishment. Outside of the granted such access. Top of the stairs, you are ushered into a library full of rare classic tombs. Now he says, how can we help you? So, we have the symbols on the top left. We have the advanced the omen track uh, clockwise. Oh, but no one saw that. I had the uh, the wrong token on the thing. There we go. That should have been there. way round. There we go. So that's on to the blue. Now check for any blue. We have one in London, so it means one. Gate means we summon the one. Wrecking effect. There's nothing on the board. So we'll go to the ancient one. And they have each specific on a space containing a gate. Once you doom by one, this discards one spell. So no one's on a gate, so we're okay for that so far. And I'm pretty sure paranoia has a effect. Test will if you fail put the card. A will of four, so we should hope the class is test. And it should be pretty good for us. Yep, passed it easily. So the card is then flipped. Your friends and colleagues were right. What hope do you have of changing anything? Me and mortals can possibly some ancient, powerful beings. Discard all the improvement tokens and discard this card. Uh, no improvement tokens, no bonuses. So, so far, not too bad. We can handle that. And lastly, we have to summon a gate, which is randomly over here. And we have a gate in Rome. And that company monster randomly picked a ghoul. So the ghoul goes on the gate in Rome. Finally, the event. If I see anyone in the following, gain a clue, an asset, or a spell. Hmm. So I'm going to have the Shaman gain a clue. So we get a random clue, so she's safe for the uh, event. And I'm going to have... Hmm. I'll have Jacqueline possibly gain a spell. So we will get... Yeah, Shriveling is always a handy spell for monsters, just in case. So we're going to get Shriveling spell. So we've got a bit of a stock going on here. Stocking up ready for it. So, not a bad first turn. So, we're going to head for that mystery. We're going to head for the mystery. So, you'll want to go for the mystery. That's the first thing we're going to go for. Prior to one of mysteries, number two, probably the gates. Because they'll advance to even faster, which is what you don't want. So, start with Jacqueline. So, we want to get down there as fast as we can. So, we're going to get a C ticket. We're going to obtain a C ticket, put on our character, and just make a start on travelling down there. That's her two goes done. Now for the Shaman, I'm going to move her along to Buenos Aires, and we are going to have her hmm, go for the gain the uh, assets again. So I roll two dice, I gain two successes. Unfortunately, there's no two on there; there's just two ones. So let's get the whiskey to give some defense. There it goes. And replace the reserve. So we've got a very defence going on here, so we should be okay. We've got a four, a three, and a four. It's going to be quite hard to get. So that's that start over. Now onto the counter phase. So Jacqueline is up there, so she gets a generic city space. Sorry, sea space. There we go. The school of dolphins has surrounded your ship, trying to keep you here. You may become delayed by the night in the spot. If you come delayed, the Elder God not noting your oh, sorry, the Elder God Nodens visits your dreams. You wake up found insights. Spawn two clues. Coming delay basically means you skip a turn. Again, two clues for that, but hmm, to be fair, she could get there pretty fast. So yeah, let's do that. So come delay, knock into the side. We're getting two random clues up there. And that's her done. Come back. Now for uh, the shaman, she is in one of those areas. So we've got the green encounter card. Which reads, you hear the sad tale of Rafina, who died after her beloved was unfaithful. 
Riddled with guilt, her lover uses dark magic to bring her back from death. You search for signs of the spell he used. So we do observation test of minus one. We've only got two, so we say observation test of one dice. Oh, not a success. Uh, if you fail, you hear the voice from beyond, lose one sanity. Well, we've got seven, so we can afford to. We can afford to lose that. That's not too bad. Now for the Mythos card. What do we have? Ancient Guardians, an article on the back page of a newspaper attached to your attention. An unexplained attack on the outpost left no survivors. If you read about two of a similar attacks happening in the same region, you can see that the forgotten corners of the globe are growing more dangerous. So, advance the um, clock counterclockwise. So, clockwise, um, we have one gate with the red circle open, so we're going to move that down by one. Racking effects, uh, we have just the gate one on him, and nothing else. I think it's a him or a her, I have no idea. And nothing else really, so that's pretty good. And we just have lastly the gate. So we're gonna spawn the gate is in oh bonus area is where she is, so that'd be there. And a random monster is we get goat spawn. The goat spawns down there, bonus areas. And the event is spawns monsters in the outside sufficient space, which is this token here. So let's go down here randomly. Oops, and they broke the game. Uh, we got a good. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying that right. Good. And then I can't pronounce this. Thethonian. I, I can't say that's a squid monster. It's always a squid monster, whatever it is. It goes there. Rearrange that. We'll knock it from the flying other side. Back there, back on there. Up on 12. And she's there. Okay, that's that done. Not too bad so far. Mythos cards are always uh, tricky, they always uh, provoke madness and chaos, gradually spiraling the game out of control. So we're back on track now, so we'll. Uh... Is she delayed? Yeah, she's delayed. So she stays delayed. So we go for the Shaman. So it's going to skip. She's going to move down to the Argent's token. Now I'm just double check the card. As an encounter, it's the ritual, so it's a law test of minus one, so we have a score of three. So that's two dice we're going to be rolling. And pass this. Yes, we've got a pass. Uh, if you pass, you may spend two clues to place the Algic token on this card. Okay. So we're going to place the token on the card. That's cost us two clues. Clues are like super high currency in this game. They're very valuable, usually for mysteries. Then in the next Mythos phase, if the Irish token is equal to half players, the mystery is solved. So after the next Mythos phase, the mystery is solved, and we've got one out of three done. So on to the. Oh, sorry, no, that's still one more count on the next phase. So I move one, I am going to simply. I do. Not much else. Can we arrange the gates? I'm going to use her action. Now each character has their own actions you can use. Basically the top, top two cards of the gate stack and put one gate on the top and one on the bottom. Basically it's like, if you play magic, it's like a scrying. You get to look at top two and rearrange. So we have San Francisco and Tokyo. Uh, let's go for San Francisco because the green's at the top and it'll be a while for that activates. So it spawns there. Obviously you spawn a gate, it also spawns a monster. So we'll get a monster out. What have we got? It's just a cultist. They're not too bad. At least I think for this ancient one. Okay, now for the encounter phase. She come back up. So she'll do a city encounter. Sorry, city encounter, doing it again. During a flash of light in the night, you see enormous creatures silhouetted against the sky. The image chills you to your core. Test the world. I've got a little three, so we test that. Didn't pass, unfortunately. If you fail, lose one sanity in a paranoid condition. Oh, that's bad. So lost the sanity, and we are now paranoid. Great. Is that done? Now for her, she's the same. She's a generic encounter in the sea, which will be. The crew knows a legend about gold coins lost in this area. The story reminds you of an obscure shipwreck you studied. So she has a level 3, it's a, it's a law test. Yep, we've got that. If you pass, you find treasure and split the profits. Improve your 
influence. Okay, so that's uh, influence improved. That's a good start, which is there we go, and that goes right there. So we know she's gonna extra influence die, she's gonna have a whole bunch of time now. Now for the mythos phase. Okay, have we got oh a blue one? Blue is always ongoing stay on the board. So a start a line. A dozen unpleasant looking strangers have settled into Paranama with a large collection of historical reference books. There's something unique about the place and the time that allows them to rip apart the fabric of reality. So no uh, gates or open clock moving. We've got a clue spawned. Randomly we've got space 13, which is right up there. We get a Rubicon in space seven, which is one of these little question also estimation marks. So space seven is there. Okay, so ongoing cards just stays here until it's sold. So as an encounter, let's hit on space seven. We attempt to find these strangers based on his observations of the stars. If he passes, you convince these Capricia to remove these strangers. They include the hard players or the movement. So that'll stay there until I get a reckoning effect. So my first card, it has to go one by one. So it's not too game changing because some do say um, so and so effects of reach lose the game. So sometimes rumors can be quite important to uh, deal with, but that's not too bad. So that's that stays there. The first phase is over, and the first mystery is successful. One out of three done. On to the next. Let's see what we got. Void between worlds. It is said that long ago, Yogg-Sothoth was imprisoned in a place utterly without existence, a strange void that occupies a space between dimensions. As an encounter, an investigator must basically in the gate and travel to the void between worlds are drawn and resolving a void between worlds special encounter. Then the first phase, and now I'll just focus on this card. So basically, we've got a next goal. Let's go for a, aim for a gate, any gates, and then resolve a void between worlds special encounter. Special encounter cards are the ones here that have the symbol, they're the clue cards. Sideways ones are the mystery and the special encounter. Not all H ones have special encounter cards, but Yogg's half does, so. That should be too hard to do. So we want to aim for a gate. Luckily, there's a gate right behind here. Uh, what have I learned? Aim right. Akashi. I'm going to say Akachi. If I'm saying it wrong, just tell me. Akachi. And there's gates up there, not too far from um, Jacqueline. So that's pretty good. So let's go. Shame is going to go straight to here, where the goat spawn is. Move one. And next we are going to... Let's see... Let's try the observation, so we've got three dice now, so let's try that, see what we get. We've got one success again, so it's not too great, but we'll get the bull whip for a bit of an encounter if we ever need to fight any creatures. Step those up there, so we've got a bit of a stop going on now. And replaced it with a high muscle ally card, which is always good to have. And that's here go done. Now I might send Jacqueline over to the rumour because she has a pretty decent observation score so she can hopefully try and solve the rumour. So we'll move her down there. And lastly we're going to... Let's see, we're going to use her ally action card. Roll one dice on a 5 or 6 game, one item or trinket, asset from the reserve. So, let's see. So roll one dice, 5 or 6. Yes. So we gain an item or trinket. So, there's only one item we can get, which is the doorbell shotgun, which is great because it's a full. It's very hard to get normally. That goes up there. I must forget about the power of condition. Conditions always creep up on you like when you don't expect them. Let's replace the uh, reserve. We've got a carbine rifle. A lot of guns in this uh, round. A lot of guns. Okay. On to the encounter phase. So, let's start with Jacqueline. So, she has to do. And the encounter with his observation, observation of three. So we get three dice. So if we do this, we can solve this. Uh... Yep. Yeah, oh, look at that. Three successes. Simple. And spend clues with hard players. I've got two spare, so we can afford to get rid of one. And that rumor is gone. And we are safe to continue. Now for Akachi, let's see. What do we need to do? So, I want to space to the gates. But I'm pretty sure I need to defeat the goat spawn first as the encounter because monsters come first as part of the uh, the rules. But I'm going to try and test out my Miss of Relt spell so I can test lore 
if I pass, I perceive there's no monsters on the gate, so it's like the monster wasn't even there in the first place. So we're gonna try that swift try, just in case we can get past it. Okay, you passed. As with all spells, they have a sort of kick to them, and reveal that by flipping the card over. And basically successes. So I've got two successes. Mist fills the air and clouds your mind, lose one sanity. So it costs one sanity to do a spell. Some spells are worse, some spells cost more to use, but it's worth it. So that monster is still there, but we don't have to encounter it. So we're on the gate. Let's resolve a special encounter. Let's see what we've got. Okay, the gate and the key. You are surprised to discover this distinct silhouette of a man on the other side of the gate. Without knowing his identity, try to convince him to help you navigate these, these strange other worlds. So influence minus one. Hmm. It's quite bad only one dice. That's pretty tricky. So let's try it. Oh, I didn't pass. Straight to the fail effect. So he introduced himself as the Wizard of Zakuba and uses arcane power to do resistance. Got all your clues, spells, and improvement tokens. What? Oh my god. So my clues got on. Was it spells? Was it spells? Oh, I had two spells. Really? Really? That one sucks. And that's it so far. That's pretty. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, so the observation of three, but minus one, so it's two. Yes, success. Next, introduce himself as Randolph Garter and offers you a silver key. You try to harness its power. Test of law. Uh, three on the law test. Yes, pass that again. You may gain a dark practitioner to roll three additional dice. If your test result is three or greater, the key works. Place one object token on the ancient one sheet, otherwise, you have the lost test based condition. So, we need to get a three or greater. Now, dark pack condition, I don't really like, but let's go for it. So, we're going to gain that to roll three dice. Yep, simple. Place our strip on the sheet, so that's that done. Put that back. Unfortunately, we did gain a dark pack condition. Now, dark pack conditions are sort of mysterious conditions. Um, so, we roll a dice, we reckon, in effect, on one, fill your part of the bargain, and it could be something bad. Sometimes you can even lose a game with those cards, they're very dangerous, but they are worth it for some effects so that's the encounter phase over so pretty good so the mystery sold we've got with the rumor next mythos card uh right, we've got a green uh blood flows strong grease grease the old man told you you've been wearing the pouch around your neck ever since new orleans you want to spill blood for you he drooled you have to spill your blood for the grease grease um yes so advance that clockwise how many have we got? We've got one in London, blue, one in Buenos Aires with a blue, so that's defense the Doom Track by two. Monster Surge, so we have an empty gate, a blue one, so we got a random monster. And we have a maniac in London. He goes there. Finally, a fresh clue, and that'll, that'll be in the um, Amazon, so that's just right here in the centre. Finally, the best hit this card one monster of his choice and his health equal to his toughness. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of. Hmm, let's go for the Coltis. I'm pretty sure they're quite weak. So, Coltis, each one's different compared to the ancient one. Use the sheet here to tell you. There you go, it's got one health. That green one there. So, he goes. And the investigator is Jacqueline, she loses one health, so she's got three health, so be careful of that. That's that gone. Okay, so that's that card done. Next mystery done. So we're on a good roll here. Let's see what the last mystery is. Oh dear. Oh no, I know what this is. I know what this is. Spawning the Oxa Hearth, Lavina Waitley has given birth to something horrible. Another creature calls for its father. This card is play, spawn the Dunwick Horror Epic Monster in Arkham. Oh no, that's bad. That's bad. So, the Dunwick Horror. Let's get the, I only use these for the Epic Monsters, so they'll be better. That's in Arkham. Let's check. Yeah. So now let's go for a showdown in Arkham. If we can defeat the Dunwick Horror, we should be able to win this. Okay, so. On we go. 
Now then. My characters haven't really got a lot of damage to do. I mean, she's got a shotgun, so that's not bad. And what's she got? She's also got a ball whip, but it's not that much. But we'll have to go for it, because we can just kill that with one. So let's go for a showdown in Arkham to finish the game off. Okay, so she's got a sea ticket. So I'm going to use her sea ticket to travel. One. Two, so we're there, we're safe. Well, we aren't safe, but you know what I mean. We're, uh, <laughs> we're in Arkham. We're going to take it to Amazon just in case we can get a clue. And I'm also going to. Let's rest and gain some sanity back. There we go. That's that. Okay, now for the encounter phase. So, we're going to fight the Dunwick Horror. First off, it's a test of wills. So, for Jacqueline, she has, let's see, just checking, I'm just sorry, I'm just checking the, uh, the card for anything I can use, any bonuses. Nope, so test of will, she has a will, three, minus two, one is two dice, let's see what we get. None, so we take three sanity hits. But, I'm going to discard that whiskey, which is then two of that side to being lost. That was helpful. So she only loses one, so it's not too bad. Now on to the uh, strength test. It's sort of weird, you have to do a test of wills to sort of comprehend the monster, like can your mind handle the monster, and then you have to fight it with physical strength, which is the strength test. Now toughness is equal to is, uh, the number of players, plus two. So two players plus two is four. Now our strength is one, we're pretty, pretty weak. But we gain four from combat encounters, and each six we roll counts as two. So let's just check. So we've got minus two from that, so we've got five in total. We've got one from the base, and four from the card, so that's three. Yes, that's not. Yeah, it's three in total, three dice. I mean, if we can get three hits, that'd be great, but I can't see that happening. Uh, we've got one hit, so we took. So, first of all, we did one damage to it. I'm going to put a health token down up there so no it's damaged. And we subtract that from the red heart symbol so we took two damage. Oof. So one health left. <laughs> That's bad. Okay, so that goes back up there. Oh, it's one beacon slightly. Now it's time for Akachi's encounter in the Amazon with a clue. Wilderness space. So. A flock of whip poor wills gathers around you with a significance in some folk tales. So, test law, law of three is pretty decent. We failed. Great. If you fail, remember too late that they claim the souls of the dead and you are buried under the landslide. Lose two health and gain internal injury condition. So, I lost health, there's condition. Oof. Cat scan a bit here. But we're looking a bit worse aware now. I mean, One's got paranoia, one's got in, an internal injury and a dark pact, so if I get a red symbol, it's bad. Oh, by the way, I know you, I, I am playing on a Magic Gathering here, play mass, just keeps the cards nice and safe, before anyone's here wondering. Okay, that goes back up there, wait, don't get the clue. Mythos phase, please be nice, please be nice. Oh, it's a blue one, it's good, it's good. Support of the church. You hang your head in exhaustion and frustration. You jump suddenly when a hand rests on your shoulder. To your relief, you return to find a local priest. Have faith, my child, he tells you. Your good work have not gone unseen. Your brave acts making a difference. Okay, that's the nasty stuff here. So advance that. Any green on the board? Just San Francisco. So that's one. It's not too bad. We have monster surge in San Francisco. What do we get? We get a riot. In San Francisco. Okay, random clue. So you get from the random clue pool, and it is in Sydney, which is oops, sorry down there, but the cards are in the way. There we go. In case you're wondering, quite a lot of space players' game. It's a very big board, and a lot of cards. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's actually really good. Let me sound sarcastic then. Support the church events. Leave that city in a blessed condition. So we have blessed condition. These are great because basically. basically Falls, fives, and sixes come to success on your test. I mean, if you get a curse condition, you discard it and you have to do the reckoning effects, so you might lose it, but basically, it means you get more chance of getting a success, and that goes up there with Jacqueline. Okay, not bad. 
Right, now it's time for the tricky part. We need to face the monster off. What do we do? No, she's got one health, which is bad. Now we could do the shriveling spell. We do a law test. If we pass, it loses two health. With a law uh, score of four, that's pretty good, really. So we're going to do that. We're going to do cast a shriveling spell on Dunwich Horror. Dunwich Horror, I say. Yep, success. Flip the card. So we we'll make it lose two life first. So we'll put that back and do three. So it's got one health left. So we're on for a good run here. Okay, how much success did I get? Oh, I gained two. The health magic lingers on your body. Lose one health. Oh no, she's lost health. I think she's dead. Yep, that's her gone out the game. So she's dead now. Now death doesn't mean too much. You mean basically discard that. Discard your clue, keep the items on it, well, keep the clue, sorry, keep the items there, and turn her down. So she's lost all last second, the spell back fire and killed her. Uh, should have rested first, but never mind. She's only got one health left, so let's see. Now, she needs to move faster. She's got no spells that can really help much. Dark packs are pretty nasty, but let's go. So we're going to move over there. We're going to rest up for our fight, so we're going to rest. Now because I've rested, uh, if you can see there, four rest, roll one dice, and power six, it's got the card. So we go power six, the card's got we go four, which is not enough. Okay, uh, encounter phase, can't do the lead investigator, she's gone. We're on a city space, so... And that watchman tells you that a crate of weapons has gone missing from his warehouse. You offer him some money to learn more. Test influence. So, two. Sorry, influence of three, should I say, but it doesn't matter. I passed it anyway. Uh, if you pass, he sends you to an ally. Gain one random weapon, that's from the deck. Okay, so how do this is? I take the deck and I just take cards to go back randomly. So, great watch. Great. Snake Asians. We got a. Oh, there we go. Enchanted Blade. That'll do nicely. So we get that. That'll help for the fight. There. Okay, that's that done. Now, time for the Mythos phase. Let's see. Okay, Tell of Despair. Cold bit of wind howls through the trees and people everywhere cling there to their fires and blankets to chill the to your bones and no warmth to be found. So, move the clock, check the board, there's just two blue gates. Let me sit down by two. Wrecking effect. Oh no, what's this one? What's this one? Roll one dice. If the result is less than equal to the players, it's one a gate. So, if we get two or less, the gate is spawned. I've got a five, so it's safe to two bad. Well, so there's a safe wrecking effect. No one's in a gate, so that's fine. Oh no. So, first of all, I need to test strength of a failed card's flipped. So, let's do this. And that's a fail, so that card is flipped. Let's check it. Yep, yeah, flip the card. The pain in your gut continues to grow and your fever worsens. You're never sure now that there's no meme injury. Gain an illness condition and discard this card. Okay, so let's just check for an illness condition. Okay, so the first one I found was poisoned. So if you want rest action, you can recover health or sanity, and that's bad. And then next up is the dark pack. So this could be bad, but all dice and a one. So this could be pretty hard now to get a one. Here's we get a one. Yes, we're safe. We're safe from that. So each investigator loses two health and two sanity, unless it's got a blessed condition. I don't have one, so I guess I'm losing health and sanity. Oh no, this is getting bad. This is getting, oh, wrong, there we go. Ooh, this is getting tense, very tense. Okay, so next round. Now, investigator's been defeated. Last been devoured, you may respawn with a new investigator, so we're going to get a new investigator out. Okay, I put the first one I found, and we got Mark Harrigan, the soldier. Uh, he's got a lot of health and he's got a lot of strength and will, good for fighting. Uh, he can make monsters lose health and we can have him delayed unless he chooses to, so he's pretty decent. Defeat the Vestigator, 
stays on the board. If you want to, you can go over their space, form a test the back of their character card, flip it over, and you may gain their items. But we're in the kind of end game now, so we don't need to do that. I'm going to focus on just destroying it. The Dunwich Harry. So now we're on to the Shaven's turn. Get closer and closer to there. And we are going to. Hmm. Let's just try to gain an asset. We've got no successes. Let's that turn over. Now for Mark's turn, we're going to send him down to Rome to fight the ghoul, and while he's there, we're going to get a train ticket token because oh, we can't. No, oh, we can. We don't have a train ticket token. Sorry, we want a sea ticket token. We can get to the uh, the last monster faster. So that's that done. So she does a generic encounter, a sea encounter. The captain tells you that you are passing the other side to a famous shipwreck. You can use the ship's deep sea diving equipment to pull the wreckage. Can we come to Blades to get an artifact? Hmm, I don't think I need an artifact. I don't become to Blades to be honest. I want to just stay there and go for the fight. So we'll ignore that. Okay, time to fight the ghoul. Uh, so, ooh, it's pretty easy. We've got a little test of plus one. So because of that, I mean five dice. It's more than enough. I don't fall out the last dice, but I don't suffer any side damage. And then no, no way modifiers to that. Because of the revolver, we gain plus two. We could use this and discard it, but for this creature, we don't need to. So we'll gain six dice. Two successes, and the last two. Oh, look at that. <laughs> definitely, definitely dead. And because we kill the monster, you get to do a bonus of the next encounter. And we're going to go to shut the gate down. So let's do a gate encounter card, which is just over here. Uh, the future. You find yourself in an unknown place. Large beetle-like creatures swim over the landscape. You search the charred surroundings to find some central location from which they originate. Operation test, minus one, so that's just one dice I'm rolling for that. Oh, fail. One of the beetles tries to dominate your mind. Minus one to the uh, world test, that's three, it's not too bad. Yep, success. If you pass, you retain your personality with your memories of all the times. You gain one clue. Good to have. So we'll get a clue up there. Power's now gone. Now for the mythos phase. We just get through this, we should be okay. So if this isn't too bad, let's see. Hey, it's a blue one, should be pretty good. The world fights back. Across the globe, headlines announce terrors that threaten to engulf humanity. Individuals everywhere take action against these horrors and assist those that have already been fighting the ancient one. So, first of all, that goes round half clockwise. Any red circles on the gates? Just one in Rome, so that's moving that down by one. Reckoning effect. Uh, what's this now? So, roll the dice. And this, if it's in one. Nope, we're fine. Monsters on the board, we're good. Oh, he's on the gate, isn't he? So, he's investigated up in this place in the gate, that's a doom, so that's a spell, and got a spell, so that means doom's going down by one. Pretty bad. And then lastly, I've got these these things here. So that's lose a health for the poison. That sucks. Poison's a bit annoying. And then we've got a roller dice. Uh, one and one for the bargain. So don't get a one. Anything but a one would do. Yes, we're safe for that. Each person needs to do one of the following: cover two health, cover two sanity. It's got a monster from his space. Now you. Unfortunately, I wasn't on the space to the Dunlop's Horror, but you can't do it anyway because every monster's completely discarded or defeated in combat. That's fine. I think I'll just use that to recover two health for the Kaji because she's doing quite a bit of damage. So that's that. It's a pretty good card. Uh, and that's it for that card. That card's done. Right, so hopefully we can uh, win this now. So with Mark, we're going to use our ticket to travel. One, two. Our ticket's gone. We're ready for the fight. We're going to move her to Arkham. Just in case we can use her as well. Now it's time for the final showdown, the encounter. So Mark, we're going to discard this to gain five for the encounter. Should definitely help us kill it now. So let's just check the back of the card again. So minus one to Will. We've got a Will score of four, so that's Three dice for rolling. One success. Take that off there, so that's two damage for suffering, two sanity damage. 
That gives them there. We suffer two standard damage. So that one's black. Oh, yep. It's there. Combat test. Minus two to our original stat of four. Uh, so that's two. Put plus five from the card. And that's seven dice for rolling. We literally need to do one damage to this and one again. Oh, look at that. <laughs> more than enough. I don't even roll any more dice. That's enough to kill it. So that horror. Done which horror is defeated. Put that back in the box. There we go. Defeated that. I might as well do a encounter in Arkham, just in case. Because even though I defeated the Dunwich much horror and the mystery is technically solved, you don't resolve the mystery cards till the next end of the mythos phase, so you can still technically lose. So uh, Arkham rituals take place regularly in the nearby woods, hooked to uncover the secrets left behind by the cults. Test preservation. Two. Right, yes, I passed. If you pass, gain an incantation spell. Okay, let's just get yeah, it's that flash wall spell. Because why not? Why not? And for her, she's also in. She should be down. She's also in Arkham. So we do another green card. In Arkham. We're seeing last windows in the south church features an angel reading strange runes on the scroll. Runes are familiar to you. Test your rule. Or well, your status 3. Didn't pass. If you fail, you can't the runes, but the angel's face has a more inhuman aspect now. Lose two sanity. So the angel's face changed and scared me so much I lost my sanity. Still got plenty left. Still good. So we survived that. Let's just survive the mythos phase. And then we've done that. We have one. So. Dark power. Lightning cracks across the sky. You have a sinking dread that all good you've accomplished about to be undone. So move that round. The first symbol. Any blues? Still two. That's on three. It's not too bad. Wrecking effect. No monsters. No one's on a gate. That's there. And we're going to lose a health for the poison card. These are the best to look out for. These are all the wrecking effects on the uh, small cards because they're easy to miss. So that's that done. And then roll the dice on a one. Bad things happen. We've got a six. That's that done. Spawn the gates. It's in Shanghai. With a ghoul. Uh, each monster recovers all health. Then each investigator immediately counts each monster on his space in order of his choice. Monsters are all undamaged so far. That's nothing. And nothing's on my space. So that's that done. So the phase is over, the mystery is solved, we've done three mysteries, one, two and three, the officer half is defeated, and that's the end of this game. So a little bit trickier, but I went straight for the mysteries, lost investigator in the process, but it's okay because death in this game doesn't mean the end. When the ancient ones have been awakened, death does mean you've devoured, death means you've devoured, means you've devoured. devoured means you've instantly lost. So if Yoko Sahaf would have awakened, it would have been a lot harder. It would have had a lot more effects, losing damages, calling spells, you know, do special encounters, try and win. It would have been a lot harder. We kept him at bay, kept track of the mysteries, and we won. Well, we, I say me. Just me myself, because we used two investigators. And that's the end of this Against the Gods episode. Uh, so next up will be, I can't say it, Shubnigarath, the Goat spawn monster, whatever it's called. If we can just get the card. So that's it. Shubnigarath. I'll be the next one. So that's on 13. Now, correctly, he summons a lot of monsters and just constantly barrels the board with monsters to fight off. And that's it. So if you like this, give me a like, subscribe. Any question about the game, feel free to ask. And thank you for watching.